people want mystery, but if you're not a gangster, you know, that that's that brings mystery. You know, being a gangster, being a thug and shit like that, that brings mystery. Oh, we don't know. The mystery is we don't know when he's going to die. We don't know if he's going to be here tomorrow. If you don't have that mystery, then you need to make your sexuality a mystery. And this is what the fuck is going on. Um, so I think it was both. Um, to be honest with you, um, a lot of you kids nowadays, a lot of you motherfuckers, I, I, I had a fucking picture of some nigga on Instagram, and this nigga's a real thug street nigga throwing up gang signs and shit, but he's dressed like Katrina said, dressed like a fucking leprechaun. What the fuck? Nah. What's going on? Welcome back. Um, welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ao Canseco, fearless leader of Ao Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is um the Big Facts Podcast, as you can see. Been home ain't got no head because as fucking chili was coming in the door. I had to open the door up too wide and um not be home and head off and shit like that. Um This is are you fucking serious? As in Lil Nas X is gay. And I'm 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 kind of confused on whether I'm I'm supposed to be like was I supposed to know this? I guess I ain't looked enough into the nigga and shit like that. But just off the top of the head, there's gonna be so many pauses in this fucking video. Why does it have to be like that? Uh, I, I like I said it don't to me. To me, it, it's like um, first off. I don't know why the fuck, why the fuck a nigga, like, whatever you do in the background, it could stay in the background. I, I'm not sure why it's, why it has to be known. I, I don't know. I, like, I, I'm not sure what kind of dynamic goes into that whole lifestyle. Like, I, I need to let everybody know because, uh, if I don't let everybody know, then I'm not supporting my my cause. I don't know if that's it, but I'm, it's kind of hard for me. I think he's genuine because I want to say that this this is like a business move. As I told y'all before, uh, Lil Nas X don't have no fucking um. There's no future in music for Lil Nas X. Um, he came in just like Designer did. Came in just like. Uh, TK and Cash did came in just like Cash Out did came in just like OT Genesis did came in just like Cheddar the Connect did uh, came in just like Snooty Wild did uh, we like this fucking uh, noise is fucking me up OCD you come in the game with, with, you know what I'm saying, but these niggas had a better chance because what designer, um, I don't know how the fuck he came in and how that was accepted, um, seeing as he uh, came in on the nuts of another nigga and shit like that, but this is where the fuck we at. But still in all, no matter where the fuck we at, um, this game is what the fuck it is. One thing that you guys lost when you came in, I'm talking about these new era fans when y'all came in with this microwave era it really don't matter but honestly though honestly though let's talk about it if we're talking about streaming and i'm not talking about streaming i'm talking about a career um and and even what, what are we talking about when we say career um because just like Takashi 69 it don't matter what the fuck you've done if the people in the industry still fuck with you. The fans still fuck with you. 
because the fans fucking with you is gonna make people who want to make money fuck with you, and the people who want to make money are the people who want to be seen. The people who want to be seen are the artists because it's so hard to be visible in this game. Um, getting people to try your music out is the hardest thing that you'll ever do. Um, it, but it's not the hardest thing you ever do. Getting people to continue to listen to your music. See, it, it, this it's, it's so many different levels to this shit. You, you're you going to think that the hardest thing to do with this shit is to, damn, these folks, they don't know, I'm, they don't know about my existence. They don't know. Hey, hey, Kimberly. Kimberly, stop that shit. But I ain't no shit. Um, you'll believe that. Shit's fucking up, dog. Don't go off, dude. Hold on, bitch. Don't go off. Shit, man. Need that goddamn breeze. Shit. Um, you gonna believe that people making people aware of your existence is the hardest thing to do. Um, you'll believe that until you get in this motherfucker after they've been made aware of your existence. Now the hard part really comes. How do you keep? How do you hold? How do you maintain their attention? Because we are in the microwave era. Look at the flick of that wrist. That had its time. Uh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. All I know. That shit had its time. Um, if you not coming in this motherfucker and you're on this OT Genesis shit where you'll go and, and, and kiss up to white ladies and, and be that slave boy, um, if you won't do like Lil Nas X does and as he sees that his time in this music thing is coming to a close, comes out and say and says that he's homosexual. If you won't play that 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 um, if you won't straddle the fence like Tyler the Creator does, and and won't let people know whether he's straight or gay, Jaden Smith, you know what I'm saying? That that's what people um. People want mystery, but if you're not a gangster, you know, that that's that brings mystery. You know, being a gangster, being a thug and shit like that, that brings mystery. Oh, we don't know. The mystery is we don't know when he's going to die. We don't know if he's going to be here tomorrow. If you don't have that mystery, then you need to make your sexuality a mystery. And this is what the fuck is going on. Um, so I think it was both, um, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of you kids nowadays, a lot of you motherfuckers, I, I, I had a fucking picture of some nigga on Instagram, and this nigga's a real thug street nigga throwing up gang signs and shit, but he's dressed like Katrina said, dressed like a fucking leprechaun, and somebody said, <laughs> somebody said, nigga said, <laughs> I'm laughing when a nigga said this shit, man, nigga said, goddamn, me lucky charms you know what I'm saying like he did the fucking whole thing and that shit was so funny to me cause this nigga was really he had these big ass fucking shoes pink socks I'm talking about his fucking he had some tight ass capris on I'm talking about really so, to where you can see his calf so much so people were telling you what he had in his pocket uh, he had a, a, a pack of cool shorts in one pocket, and I think he had his keys to his car, his house, and to his P.O. box in the other pocket. You can tell the whole shit. You can tell, you know what I'm saying, when his ID expired, all that shit. That shit was crazy than a motherfucker, man. And, uh, but that, that's gangster. So, in this era, then you got niggas like King, um, who, an NBA young boy, who these motherfuckers be extremely close to each other in these pictures, um, doing questionable poses, sometimes even kissing each other, um, and don't mind people seeing that. Um, so I wouldn't know what to say and, and, you know what I'm saying, what to do. But I guess the issue I had with, with, um, what, I, I, I really don't have a fucking issue with it, really. But I guess what I, what I, the observation I had was, um, he said, I made it really obvious. And like I said, he's living his own life. He's living his own life. All I know from him or about him is um, 
Old Town Road. And then you think about Old Town Road and yeah, I'm going to ride until I can't no more. And it's just like with the fucking um, Frank Ocean shit when he said I'm thinking about you. But I think thinking about you in comparison with this is a lot more PG-13 than I'm going to ride till I can't no more if we're taking it to that fucking level. Um, oh, shit. That's grand great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Man 2 t-shirt or the... Big Face Podcast, Scullies. Scullies go for 10, the Men 2 shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirts go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200 and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do. Yada, yada, yada and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. How you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on. Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. What needs to happen here? You know what I'm saying? What needs to happen? What 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 are we doing? Um What's going to happen to his career now? I say his career is going to last a lot longer now because you get the um, LGBT sympathy now. You know what I'm saying? Now we got to fight for him because, you know what I'm saying? And and so a lot of times you get, I hate motherfuckers. I hate this. And it's not just this new age, but it's a lot of, a lot of you old motherfuckers do this shit. You'll make a post saying, I know I ain't going to get that many of them, but if you fuck with me, put a hundred up, man. Man, if you fuck with man, uh, 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 post a hundred, man. What the fuck does that do for you? But that's that's that sympathy bullshit. I hate that shit. I, I just hate it. I fucking hate it. I hate it. I fucking hate that shit. I, I, I guess I just don't come from that. Like, dog, you a man. Go cry in the fucking darkness, man. Go cry in the fucking darkness. What's all this goddamn emotional fucking uh, sensitive ass shit, dog? I believe, you know what, dog? I think if we go into history, I think uh, my mama she made me aware of a uh, uh, a movie about the nigga who invented the internet was gay, but I think back in that time it was illegal or some shit like that. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I'm quoting that right, but it, something about like he didn't want to come out of some shit. Uh, because it'll be consequences to it, um, and I and, and I come with the same question: Why in the fuck does this have to be promoted? Why does this have to be promoted? Was there a check involved the last day of Pride Month? Is this part of your rollout, Little Knives X? Is this part of your rollout? And I, I don't like feeling like I'm stupid when a person says I made it obvious. Now I have to go into that. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about the fans? People like me, casual casual listeners, because everything I've seen from you, nothing said anything about homosexual. I When I 
fucking look when that shit came out. I went and even looked back at some of the music. It was trash as fuck. Not trash. I mean, I it's, tra it's it was trash. You know, it, it's this new age shit, whatever the fuck this shit is. Um, and uh, but it said nothing about homosexual. I, I guess you know with uh, YNW Melly XXX Temptation, these motherfuckers want you to fucking decode the Matrix, Da Vinci Code, on some shit like that. Yeah, you should have known it because the 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 third song on the first album, um, I on, on the seventeenth word, I said filibuster, and see if you go back and look, the first. And the third equal to four. And you put 17 with it. What you got? Obviously that's the goddamn 28th. Or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the 21st. So that. What you think 21 stand for? Three. Three is the sign of. So the three colors in the rainbow. Like what the fuck are you talking about? I made it obvious. How? But once again, I, I ask the question, why does it have to be obvious? I think even I remember, maybe this is fucking um, the Mandela effect, but I somewhat remember him saying something about a bitch in this old time road song. He has a song with Cardi B called Rodeo. Um, I, I didn't... I, I, Man. <laughs> but I think in old time role, he said something about a fucking girl and shit like that. So, just say what the fuck it is. Hey, I'm coming out. I'm kind of nervous about this. And um, I just not sure if I should be doing this. But it's the last day. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. Don't be all this. Uh, I made it obvious shit. My nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? Because you dress like a fucking cowboy? Because you were riding in a fucking convertible with fucking Billy Ray Cyrus? What are you talking about, my nigga? That's that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, dog, we don't 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 make me feel like I'm fucking retarded. Like fucking yeah, I made it fucking obvious. Dog, if you made it obvious in fucking old time road, you would have said, I like boys. Yeah, I'm gonna take my boy to the old time road. He gonna you know what I'm Say what it is, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Broke back. Uh, so, is that the fucking... Broke back mountain? Is that the fucking... Is that what I missed? Once again. Once again. Like, it's... Because it's cause it, it making nigga feel like... The label told you to do that shit. The label said... Yeah, tell him... You know... uh, Make it seem like you've been like this. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's going to make you more money. You may, Maybe you've come from a, a, a desolate situation that's fucked up. And I, I can only imagine how scary it is to be in that seat to where now the whole world knows you. You weren't prepared for it. You were just another fucking rapper and this shit caught on. Now all of a sudden, you know, the whole world is changing. Everybody knows you and shit like that. You got this, you know, this rigorous schedule. You are outside of your element in every sense of the fucking word. I don't like the way that they keep on trying to market this little boy as no motherfucking cowboy. I don't like that. It's like, dog, are you fucking see a gimmick in 2009? <laughs> that sounded stupid as fuck. A gimmick in 2019. You can't, ha you can't win without a fucking gimmick in 2019. But to... I mean, I guess he embodied his fucking gimmick the same way Takashi Six Nine did, the same way any other artist you can name, Lil Pump, Lil Skies, Lil Zan. You embody your fucking gimmick. This is YNW Melly. This is you every time you're in front of the camera. What a fucking prison that has to be. We just saw it with Cardi B. I don't want you to see me without my gimmick. My gimmick is I'm a bad bitch. Bad bitches get what they want. Ah, 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 That's my rhetoric when I'm on stage. That's that when I go to work. I'm off work now. I'm just a regular nothing ass bitch. 
I didn't take no bath. I got my slides on, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't hit my ass with the shots like I was supposed to to make that shit move. Maybe that's what the fuck it was. That, that maybe that's why I said, "How the fuck was Carter be a fucking dancer? How was she a stripper when she can't dance? She seems stiff as fuck." Maybe it wasn't her being stiff; it was her ass. Dog, I'm telling you, I've seen that ass and I've been around that type of ass before. It looks good, but it's not that fun. To fuck with. You know what I'm saying? It's not that fun to fuck with. When you got that soft ass, that shit can be fun. You know what I'm saying? Because, dog, I mean, in a relationship, dog, you gonna need <laughs> one time. I, I, like, I be fucking a bitch. And, and this is when I, you know, if I let a bitch believe that we're in a relationship, like, you know, whatever the fuck. But I, I, I would make the bitch, as she's riding the dick, make her get up stand up over me and start i was doing it it's crazy as fuck because i was doing this shit when i was like um like 2010 i make her t i didn't know it was twerk but i was like do whatever the fuck that move was because she did it i guess i don't know the fuck she know i do that shit because that shit looked good to me whatever you know what i'm saying so and you have to come up with shit like that to make to make you want to fuck the bitch. This is why a bitch. This is where a bitch gets good at sucking dick. Because that's the only way that she gets sex. The only way that any fucking goes on. Is if you can make a nigga dick. You're not just finna get on top of a nigga. Because his dick not finna get hard. You understand? Like you're not finna stimulate no nigga by just. Uh, a lap dance. Or talking sexy in the nigga ill is not gonna happen like that i'm playing the game i'm watching fucking pirates of the caribbean whatever the fuck i'm doing move so you gotta get good at that guy and then you're gonna have to it get to a point when they like, move chill out chill out because you see what the fuck she's trying to do you know what i'm saying she's just trying to get her head through so she can just start you know what i'm saying because she want to fuck and she understands that's what she has to do to stimulate a nigga um i don't know what to say i don't i don't know what to say exactly if I should tell a woman if your relationship gets to that point, maybe you should leave. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because maybe that's how shit is supposed to go. It's just, I, I don't know. I don't know how that shit makes a motherfucker feel. But, as far as looking at the way these children are purported about and being made to, and see, I think it goes a lot into the way we view white people, white men, white people in suits. Um, a suit will make, <laughs> it. I was going to say, man, you know, a suit will make, you know, even a, a prison nigga get respect, but that's not true at all. You can, I mean, because people... We'll just say that's a nigga in a suit. But a white man in a suit, mid-age, you know what I'm saying? A police officer might not even pull this motherfucker over. Um, Especially not during rush hour. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, they'll pull him over. But a, a, a white man in a suit, it just, we're programmed to, huh? Okay, uh, okay. You're supposed to listen to him. Um, you can see the when you think of receptionist, you think of a white woman um, being there, a, a, a secretary, a white woman. When you think of a black woman being a secretary, you think of her fucking the fucking boss. That's that's she's a fucking bed wench. That's the reason why she got. That's 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 what real life is. A black man in the suit is a fucking scammer. That's what your mind says. Oh, this nigga trying to guide them. Yeah, what you do, bro? What you do, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just how we look at it. Uh, but a white man in a suit, when really we should, I fucking, I gotta, I gotta make that post on Instagram. When a, a white man in a suit is, is the most scary, like that's, 
that's who you should be afraid of. Not the black man in the suit because he, he can't do shit to you without your permission. The white man in the suit? Fuck your permission. That motherfucker make a plane appear. Huh. And and gold beneath the building disappear. Hmm. Along with the banking uh, files. Those will disappear also. And then make a fucking uh, uh, a Pakistan man up here. They make him disappear. As if he never existed. I never seen fucking Osama in real life. For all I know, that motherfucker actually been a motherfucker in a fucking costume. On a fucking set. In the same fucking set where they shot the fucking moon landing. But, um... Yeah, man, I, it, it's just a bad feeling, man, when, when um, you know that these kids don't have control of uh, of their situation. Uh, me and Katrina Gills of the Conversation We podcast, make sure you go uh, subscribe to that. We were just uh, talking about uh, this nigga Russ. He just did an uh, interview with Joe Budden and shit like that. And uh, we was talking about whether or not he was a fucking plant. Uh, industry plant and shit like that. It's like you just can't trust this shit no more, man. This shit that became musical chairs, the whole world. Anything that you see nowadays is a fucking reality TV show. They don't just they don't just strictly put that shit on VH1 or Bravo and shit like that. Everything is a reality TV show now. So it, it, it's just crazy, man. I, I, I'm not sure what to believe, but um. Is it unbelievable? I mean, how how could it be unbelievable? You know what I'm how could it be unbelievable? This just the whole thing. How could a little boy coming out as a homosexual? How could that be unbelievable in today's era? Even back then, you know, if a motherfucker said, you know, motherfucker say, uh, puff daddy, it, it don't matter who the fuck they say is homosexual, you gonna believe that shit. Without a second thought. Jay Z, puff daddy, 50 cent, young buck. <laughs> um, so it's crazy, man, but it's just, in this, in this game, in this music industry right now, it's just everything is about money, everything is about leverage. Everything is about staying in the fucking spotlight. No matter how much fucking bullshit you have to put up with. Um, because today, you can say that you're gay today. And then, as long as you're in that lane. As long as you're in that gray area. B the black area is hip hop. Young Buck or anybody who comes out as gay will never win again. You'll never win again. But as long as you're in that gray area headed towards the white area, which is the pop country music and shit like that, you can run that gay shit. But all these fucking artists, little peep. You see the fucking flexibility they're allotted over here in the black area. It's, your career is so fucking fragile. Losing a fight can end your career. If you don't go murder somebody or attempt to murder somebody and get sent to prison. Which still your career is ended. But at least not in a way you didn't want it to end. But when you're just outside of that M M MGK, just any little skies, little pump, any of these fucking people, you can do whatever the fuck you want and still win. And that's what I believe needs to be looked into. We fucking carry this whole thing on our backs. And it, but it, it's kind of like asking NFL players and uh, NBA players to say, we carry this whole fucking thing on our back. We should be making the fucking rules. But because they made sure that we're all separated and, and, and um, compartmentalized all of us, we won't listen to each other. 
That nigga trying to fuck me over. Man, that nigga goddamn. Shit, I ain't finna go with them niggas. So we don't think, we don't have that hive mind as we should, especially when these things are fucking us up totally as black people. Everyone sees us as one but us. We'll have to take talk more about it in the comment section. Uh, Big Face Podcast, I'm really confused about this thing. Uh, maybe y'all can bring some more knowledge to me or some shit like that. Y'all let me know what's going on. Make sure I hit the PayPal, the Cash App, do y'all thing. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.